Number 37, find the time T in years to double your money if $500 is invested at 7% compounded continuously by choosing the appropriate formula and solving it for T. Don't forget units. Okay, so the key word in this problem is compounded continuously. So whenever you see compounded continuously, the formula is the PERT formula. So A equals P times E to the RT. So super, super useful. A is how much you have after T years. P is the original amount. R is the interest rate and T is the time. All right, let's see what it says. We want to double our money if 500 bucks is invested. So P is 500, that's the original amount invested. It says at 7%, so E, so R is 7%. So in decimal form, it's 0 0.07 and then T by choosing the appropriate formula, et cetera. Okay, so it said double our money. So we start with 500, so that means we have to have 1,000. So that goes there, and that goes there, and that goes there. All right, we have to find t, so we have to get the e by itself first, the exponential part. So we divide both sides by 500, divide by 500. These cancel, so we get 2 equals e to the 0.07 t. Good stuff. So the t is in the exponent. So the only way to get rid of it is to take the natural log. The only way to get rid of the e is to take the ln on both sides like this. All right. And then here you get ln2. And then there's a formula, right? There's a formula that says if you have ln e to the x, that's just x, right? So here this is your x. So it's kind of like these cancel. So you get 0 0.07t. And then to finish, you just divide by 0 0.07. So divide by 0 0.07, running out of room, divide by 0 0.07. So t is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.07. So this is the part where a calculator is very helpful. So it says round to the nearest tenths. So let's see, I'm going to type it in ln2 divided by 0 0.07. I got 9.90, or oh, 9, tenths is one decimal, so 9.9, .9, and the units are years, so the answer is 9.9 .9 years, and that is the final answer. So recap, you just replace A with 1,000, P with 500, R with 0 0.07. You solve for the E, and then when you get here, you just put the ln on both sides. That brings the T downstairs so you can solve for it. So I hope that made sense.